Hey cuties, so in today's role-playing video, the Great Pumpkin is coming to Brookhaven. Uh, Carly, why are we watching this scary movie? Because it's almost Halloween, duh! That's what you're supposed to do on Halloween, watch movies that make the hair on your back stand up. Yeah, well that's all fine and good until it's in the middle of the night and you have to pee and you're so scary that you're afraid to go to the bathroom, which is at the end of the dark hall, so then you just be your pants. Okay, well that's what a nightlight is for Sky. And besides, we're in high school now, so we're definitely old enough to handle a scary movie. <laughs> So go on. All right, for one, on Christmas, you have Santa Claus that flies through the air and brings you presents. On Halloween, you get nothing. Well, I mean, you do get loads and loads of candy, but you need to trick or treat for that, so there's a lot more effort involved. And plus, trick or treating is just for kids. You get to celebrate Christmas your entire life. What? Have you never heard of the Great Pumpkin? The Great Pumpkin? What's that? Seriously, you've never heard of the Great Pumpkin? No, I think it's clear now. On Halloween night, the Great Pumpkin rises from the pumpkin patch, carrying a large bag of toys that it delivers to kids everywhere. Uh, girly, I think you've been sitting too close to the TV, and it's affecting your brain. What? You've never heard of it? It's a legendary figure, like Santa Claus. No, it's not. There's no legendary figure for Halloween, because if there was, it would have been mentioned with all the other legendary figures in the movie Santa Claus. And clearly, it's not. I think you might be thinking of Michael Myers, because he's the real and two he doesn't deliver anything but death okay think what you want but i'm still believing in the great pumpkin later that night girly are you awake no well wake up i want to talk to you about something don't tell me that movie was keeping you up seriously sky it wasn't even that scary do i really need to walk you to the bathroom no no it's not that although i will take you up on that bathroom offer because that hallway is really dark it's about what you said earlier and are you you just messing with me? Sky, it's the middle of the night. Don't make me guess. Messing with you about what? The Great Pumpkin. You don't really believe that, do you? Of course I do. My mom used to tell me about it as a kid on Halloween night. Your mom used to tell you the story of a giant pumpkin that mysteriously rises from a pumpkin patch and delivers presents? No, not mysteriously. Magically. And what's the big deal? Are you sure she wasn't talking about Michael Myers? Yes, for the last time, she wasn't talking about Michael Myers. Nobody tells little kids bedtime stories about Michael Michael Myers unless they want them to be traumatized. Now, I'm a little traumatized that you woke me up over this, so can we please just go back to sleep? I can't just go back to sleep now, girly. I've got, like, so many questions. Questions? This isn't a Q&A, Sky. What are the questions about? Well, for one, do you know that it isn't really logically possible for a pumpkin to rise and fly through the air? I mean, it's a vegetable. It doesn't have a brain to tell it what to do or wings to make it fly. How is a pumpkin supposed to fly, and where is it supposed to keep all the presents? Okay, but Santa Santa Claus is supposed to fit his big belly down the chimney and reindeers are supposed to fly? We've seen reindeers at the zoo. They don't fly. <gasps> are you saying that Santa isn't real? No, no, of course not. I would never say that. All I'm saying is whatever Christmas magic is used on Santa is the same that's used on the Great Pumpkin. Maybe Santa just has better publicity. I mean, nobody lines up at the mall to take a picture with the Great Pumpkin. Or maybe because it's a pumpkin. What do you have against the Great Pumpkin? I don't get it. Really? Because it's a pumpkin. You can't write letters to a pumpkin telling it what you want for Halloween because it doesn't have eyes or hands to hold the letter or any body part because it's a vegetable. Okay, you're clearly taking this way too seriously. I stand by the Great Pumpkin, and I am not going to turn my back on it because it only delivers presents to people who believe. So your naysaying is not going to get me there. But what is going to get me is the lack of sleep. So good night, and I will talk to you in the morning. The next day. I can't tell if you're wearing that giant pumpkin shirt spite me or if you actually want people to think you're a giant pumpkin. I don't know what you're talking about. How does wearing a pumpkin shirt spite you? I'm beginning to think that you're going a little crazy over this whole great pumpkin thing, Sky. Again, girly, I don't know if you're trying to drive me crazy or just being sincere. But before we get in there, please, please do not mention anything about the great pumpkin or any other childhood legendary figures you may believe in in front of Ashley and Ayla. Wait, why? Why? You're asking why? Why? Jeez, Sky. 
Hey, calm down. If they get any wind of this, I will not be able to protect you from the onslaughter of bullying that will be heading your way. Seriously, girlie, I saw them bring a kid to tears last Christmas over believing in Santa Claus. They are the ultimate Halloween villain, so don't put anything past them. Okay, I think you have officially crossed into overly reacting. Now, come on, we're gonna be late to school. So, are you gonna say anything or not? A few moments later. <laughs> Okay, before we move on with our lesson, I thought it would be fun if we all shared some fun Halloween stories from our childhood. Who would like to go first? Oh, no. Oh, oh, me, me. All right, great. Come on up, Mackenzie. Okay, one of my favorite stories from my childhood is my mom always used to tell me about the Great Pumpkin. Oh, huh, the Great Pumpkin. I've never heard that one. Tell us. Well, on Halloween night, the Great Pumpkin rises from the pumpkin patch, and it flies through the air delivering presents to believers leaving children. <laughs> oh, she's not serious. It's like this freaking joy's being bullied. Okay, okay. Everyone settle down, Mackenzie. Go on. Okay, now I know what you're all thinking. Pumpkins can't fly and that there's no such thing, but there have been reports on the great pumpkin, which is why on Halloween night, I will be spending it in the pumpkin patch, waiting for the great pumpkin to arrive. Ayla, remember those insults we had for that loser who still believed in Santa? We'll find them because it looks like we're going to need them today. Right away, Ashley. I'll start looking. I was always told that there's three things not to discuss with people. Religion, politics, and the great pumpkin. But it just seems to me like an idea as wonderful as this one deserves to be shared. If the great pumpkin had as much support and publicity as Santa Claus does, then probably we'd see him walking around in the malls. I think if we all work together, we can get the word out about the great pumpkin. Thank you guys for listening. That's all. Girly, you better hope this isn't backfiring us because I can already see them taking notes back there. Okay then. Uh, um, that was definitely a different story than any I've heard. Uh, okay, who wants to go next? Moments later. Ow! Why'd you push me in here, Ashley? Oh, quit your whining, Ayla. Well, at least we're in the bathroom. I really have to pee. You are not peeing. Forget it. This is important. But I really have to go. Well, then cross your legs and listen. Did you hear the story that loser made up about that giant pumpkin? Uh, I think it was called the Great Pumpkin. Whatever. I don't care. That's not what's important. It's not real, is it? Because if there's another chance to get presents delivered, then I want in. No, it's not real, you idiot. Of course it's not real. Pumpkins can't fly. Oh, yeah, right. That's what I thought, too. Uh, too bad, though, because it would be pretty cool. Would you stop babbling and listen to me? This is perfect. That freak believes it, and Halloween is just around the corner. Uh, I'm not following. Of course you're not. Let me spell it out for you. What we have to do is wait until she's in the pumpkin patch looking for the great pumpkin. And then that's when we'll sneak in dressed up as a pumpkin. She'll think it's real and freak out. And that will be when we take a picture and share it for the whole school. Oh my gosh, Ashley, that's evil. Thanks, I know, isn't it? We only get one shot at this, so it has to be perfect or we're stuck waiting another year. Wait, does this mean I don't get to go trick-or-treating? Forget trick-or-treating, Ayla. We're on a mission. And if this goes right, the whole school is going to be talking about it. Mackenzie will be haunted by the great pumpkin for the rest of her life. <laughs> but I'm perfectly sane to me. You know how I feel about this guy. I'm gonna go away to the cemetery because I know that the great pumpkin is gonna show up for me. Wait, the cemetery? Why the cemetery? Cause we don't have a pumpkin patch in Berkhaven, duh. All right, what was I thinking? Well then, I guess I'm going with you. You are? Why? You're my best friend. I'm not gonna have you go sit alone in a cemetery on Halloween night waiting for some creepy old pumpkin. Okay, the great pumpkin is not creepy, but I appreciate it, Sky. Come on, let's go. Moments later. Uh, it's so cold. I wonder what's taking so long. He would have thought that the great pumpkin would have showed up by now. If this thing doesn't come out soon, I am not going to be happy. We're missing valuable trick-or-treating time here, girly. I know. I know, Sky. Come on. Don't lose faith in the great pumpkin. It'll come. <laughs>
this just to humiliate me? Well, not just to humiliate you. Actually, yeah, pretty much just to humiliate you. You were right, Ashley. It was worth missing trick-or-treating for. This was really mean. Even for you. Save it. By this time tomorrow, everyone at school will know that you went down here tonight. Come on, Ayla. Let's go see if you managed to get any usable footage. Ta-da, losers. Later that night. You were right, Sky. okay? You were right about everything. This was dumb. No, no, I wasn't right. If you believe in something that much, then that's all that matters. Know what everyone else thinks, and if you believe that there's a great pumpkin out there, then I will stay up all night waiting for it with you. Thanks, Sky, but you really don't have to do that. Oh my god. It's real. 